The nurse faced the doctor, holding a picture of the inside of the body. Everyone in the room was curious to see what the picture revealed, but the nurse didn't share it. She looked really surprised and didn't know what to do. The doctor and everyone else in the room got concerned about her strange behavior. Then someone called her name and she gave the picture to the doctor. When he saw it, he figured out why she was so surprised. Shelly and Rob Wall had a happy marriage. They lived an idyllic life in Cumbria in Northwest England with their two daughters. They believed that they were good parents and that they had a lot of love to give. With such a great capacity to love, they decided that there was only one thing that they could do to give them peace of mind. After deciding that they wanted to have more children, Shelly successfully became pregnant. The pair were delighted at the prospect of another kid. In a house full of girls, both Shelly and Rob wanted to have a son. For Rob, it would mean having a boy that he could bond with over football and sports that his daughters simply weren't interested in. However, a trip to the doctor's office put those dreams in doubt. Trips to the hospital are regular occurrences during pregnancy. The health of both the mother and the baby needs to be closely monitored. Shelly and Rob didn't need to have this explained to them. They'd been through it twice before and felt comfortable with the experience. However, their comfort was conditional on the experiences being good. This latest visit to the doctor wasn't good. In fact, it was terrible. The baby boy in Shelly's womb had an abnormality in his skull. It appeared as though he only had 2% of his brain. Naturally, this news was devastating for Shelly and Rob. They had so many hopes and dreams for their child. Now the quality of that child's life would drop dramatically. A bleak picture of the life that child would live was painted by the doctor. Noah had developed essentially no brain matter at this juncture. And he also had spina bifida, a birth defect that occurs when the spine and the spinal cord don't form properly. Seeing how upset Shelly and Rob were, the doctor made a radical proposal. Abortion is often a drastic option for any mother to take. As far as the doctor was concerned, the drastic option was the right one in this case. He told them that the life expectancy of their boy would likely be short, and even if it wasn't, he would require constant care. Was this the kind of life they wanted for their boy or for their other daughters? Shelly and Rob had a decision to make. Shelly and Rob thought things over. They went home and looked at their girls, not having the heart to tell them the bad news. They adored their children and hated to ever see them sad. In the adoration, there was an answer. Shelly and Rob had committed to having a new baby. If they'd been younger, they might have opted for abortion, they said, but they would love this child no matter what, they would keep the baby. The odds were against the baby from its conception, yet Shelly and Rob held out hope that their boy could make it, and it's a good thing they did. Noah let out a big scream the moment he was born, letting his parents know that he had arrived. To give him a fighting chance, a doctor placed a shunt in Noah's skull to drain the excess fluid and relieve the pressure on his brain tissue. His parents could only wait and see how he developed. Shelly and Rob had no explanation for Noah in the early days of life. They were simply happy that their boy was healthy and happy. What's more, Noah was able to breathe, eat, and drink because his brainstem was intact. He was paralyzed from the waist down, but this never seemed to affect his mood. He was a happy little boy. It made Shelly and Rob wonder how Noah could be thriving with so little of his brain. Noah was developing at a rate that could hardly be explained. Before his birth, doctors warned that he would have severe special needs, yet he was coming on three years old and didn't seem to be behind most kids his age. He was aware of everything going on around him, appear emotionally intelligent, and he was even starting to talk. Another trip to the doctor's office was required. With Noah collecting milestones like leaves from a tree, his parents wanted to know how his brain looked. A second scan had to be taken. The nurse came back from the other room with the scans and looked visibly shocked. You're not going to believe this, she said. The doctor took the scan from her and put on his glasses, fixing them at the top of his nose as he examined the scan. She's right, he said. I can hardly believe this. Shelly and Rob couldn't believe what the doctor was telling them. Nobody could have prepared them for the scan that the doctor had. Noah, the boy who had 2% of his brain at birth, now had over 80% of his brain. He'd grown his brain back. It was truly a medical miracle. So how had Noah's brain grown? Dr. Gregory Scott, a neuroscience researcher at Imperial College London, believed that the shunt had made space for the brain to grow, yet this was only a theory. Scott couldn't prove it, 
and thus it shows how little we truly know about one of our most vital organs. The how wasn't too important to Shelley and Rob. They were simply delighted by what was, and they knew the next steps to take. Noah's story received a lot of media attention. His story was uplifting and made people hopeful. During one of their appearances in the media, Shelley and Rob shared their plans to support Noah's growth during a trip to Australia. There, he would receive a special kind of treatment called neurophysics, which includes exercises to help his body and mind. They even believed that Noah might be able to walk in the future. Overall, Noah's future looks very promising, and his story teaches us an important lesson. Without diving into a discussion about the ethical debates around abortion, we can say that Noah's story is a tale of human hope and positivity. Although taking care of Noah has its challenges, his parents were told it wouldn't be easy. Still, every day, they feel grateful for their decision and have faith in their son. They're on a fulfilling journey with Noah at the center of it all. Thanks for watching another heartwarming video. Please check out our channel for more stories that will make your heart melt.